All right, our next guest has quite the sense of humor. He started posting on TikTok and his comedy took off. He knows how to hold his own on the stage, so take a look. It's okay, sir, you're allowed to laugh. We won't hold it against you. I don't want none of it. Can we see the lights on him? You right, I don't. None of it. I don't want none. Of it. Turn the lights back off. I don't mess with him. Joining us this morning is a talented Matt Matthews who's bringing his comedy to New York's Times Square. Good morning to you. How are we doing? Morning. Thanks for having me. How What's are you What's the title guys? of the show? What is the title of the yeah. show? When that thing gets a thing in. Well, I need to know what the thing is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> banging around. You know, you just got to come to the show and see. <laughs> Uh, I can't tell you on, more, on morning news. There's a, oh, okay, okay, got it. But you haven't been doing stand-up that long, right? So how'd you kind of figure out that this is what you wanted to do, you had a knack for it and so on? Was it the, during the pandemic? Yeah, you know, I never wanted to be a comedian. This is not something that I wanted to do. Uh, I started posting on TikTok and social media during the pandemic. Everybody was like, Matt, you have to do TikTok. And I was like, I'm too old for TikTok. Like, I thought it was, you know, just kids dancing and mm -hmm. lip syncing and that kind of thing. And so... I posted a video on uh, TikTok, and the first video got like 13 million views. Wow. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm kind of funny. <laughs> and so it just really kind of popped off, and uh, everybody was like, you have to do comedy. And so I tried comedy, and I was like, I'll just see how this works. I met with a local comic in my town and started writing a show and just kind of seeing how it went. And uh, it became like one of the most natural things that I've ever done, like being on stage and just running my mouth was just, just so natural right. for me, and, and people really loved it and related to it. Uh, and so it just kind of became more than I ever dreamed it would be. Okay. But when you do something on TikTok compared to a live audience, isn't it so oh, different? Yeah. yeah, it's absolutely different. And I think that's that's the hard part, and a lot of people don't realize how to take a video and like being funny for 60 seconds and turning that into 90 minutes. Yeah. You know, that's a, that's so a big gap. What was the first in-person audience then like for you? Was, was it nerve-wracking were you, were you oh, did, yeah. did something not land right yeah like, for okay, sure well, so I... the very first time that I ever got on stage to do comedy I opened for a comic that came through my town and they gave me five minutes and they were like here just do this and I didn't really know what comedy was I didn't know what style my comedy was gonna be and now I know like I'm very much a storyteller I don't mm -hmm. get on stage and tell jokes I don't set up a punchline I, I tell stories that are relatable and they're funny and um, at that point, I didn't know that. And so I got on stage, and I had five minutes, and I had, like, this rehearsed, like, script, basically. Right. And it was not funny, mm -hmm. you know? And I was like, wow, that was really bad. But I'm the type of person that's like, okay, now I have to do it better just to show you guys that I can do it. Right. And everybody told me, like, you don't need to do comedy. Like, my, my, my team, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you've got enough going on. You don't need to do comedy. I'm like, tell me I can't, and then I'm going to do it and take pictures just to prove you that I can do right. it. Right. I like Speaking that. Speaking of taking pictures, what is this I hear about boudoir photography? Oh. Dan wants to book you because his thing's okay. banging. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Come on, Dan, I got you. You gotta find that thing. Um, I have been, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> um, so I've been a boudoir photographer for over a decade. So uh, I started as a wedding photographer and all of my clients. So naturally, you just went to the bedroom. Well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Baby, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Uh, when you're good, you're good. But I, I was a wedding photographer, and my brides would always ask me, they're like, will you take pictures of me getting ready? And I'm like, mm, I okay. And right. so I did, and they became like the most popular pictures of the day. They loved them. They felt beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so I photographed a boudoir session for my mom, as weird as that may sound. Like, my mom always struggled with her body and not okay. loving herself, not feeling comfortable in her skin. And I photographed uh, pictures for her for her birthday in 2014. And she passed away in 2015. Uh. Mm. And before, like, when I did those photos, she told me, she was like, this is the most beautiful I've ever felt. Like, oh. I've never looked at myself and felt like a beautiful person right. or felt like my body was good or, you know, just felt comfortable in my skin. Yeah. And so I was like, that's what I'm supposed to do is make people feel good and make people realize that it's not the number on a scale that determines your self-worth. Of course. And so it blew up and it's become, you know, an incredible career that I've been able to do for a decade. And You're still doing it? I'm, I still do it, not as much now yeah. that I'm on tour, but... Yeah. I do still shoot. I have an assistant that shoots as well. So it's an incredible business where we get to make people feel good every single day. Yeah. Wow, that's really beautiful it to really hear that. It really is. And I like what you're saying about the scale, too, because some people define themselves by a number when they shouldn't. Absolutely. Either be weight, age, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I want you to take a listen to this, right? Somebody tell me how I went from living in government housing and trailer parks to Times Square. I can't thank you all enough for the life and opportunity. 
I mean, that's a heck of a statement there. So how, talk about the journey. Yeah, so, I mean, that's kind of what my show is. I grew up in government housing um, with an alcoholic mom, and I moved from that to the trailer park with my dad when I was nine years old when he got custody of me. And my life has always been a struggle, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and so I knew that statistically I shouldn't be where I am. Mm -hmm. Statistically, I should be an alcoholic. Mm. Um, or a drug addict or the things in my life that I saw mm -hmm. and kids perpetuate the same things that they see their parents And so I knew that I had to break the cycle and at a very very early age I told myself that I was not going to be another statistic and mm -hmm. I was going to be something better for myself and so I just worked really really hard not to do the same thing and not to repeat the cycle yeah. and so that's what my show is about is you know realizing that it doesn't matter where you come from and it doesn't matter who tells you no and you know what your parents are like or none of those things matter if you put the work into mm -hmm. it and so that's my show is really you know the struggles that I went through as a kid and growing up in the projects and growing up in trailer parks and being really poor to being a successful comedian on a world tour it's yeah. just insane wow and no wonder you're successful I could really listen to you talk for a long time seriously Thanks. you have such an amazing story thank and the you way so you much. deliver it is incredible well, thank you yeah. um, so the Palladium big deal Palladium that's yeah. the place to be right Tell me when. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Uh, tickets still available. Yeah. Tickets are still available. Anyway, Matt Matthews, live at the Palladium, December 16th. Great to see you. Great to hear from you. Good luck in the, on the tour and Thank tomorrow in so New York City. Come on back, okay? Thank you.